Hi, it's Kobidis County here. In this lesson, we will continue our project on creating a corporate website from scratch using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, and then jQuery. The last time we worked on the footer section, now we work on the navigation section. I have already written the skeleton for the navigation. In fact, I have the code here already. So I would urge you to do the same. Okay, so started from here. The navigation comes right under the closing body and uh, the opening body tag. So this is my comment, and then this is the navigation. This is the bootstrap build system. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Container the row. Instead of colon, we didn't add colon this time around. We went straight to nav, and then this is what we did. Okay. Now this is what we have. I think our Pause here for some few minutes. That is, if you want to write exactly what I have here. Okay, so you can also pause it. And then write exactly what I have here. Again, that is, if you want to have it the same as mine. Okay, now let me explain this. Now we go to our browser. First, you visit the Bootstrap homepage, get bootstrap.com, you click on documentation, you click on components, and then you click on navbar. Where is that? Navbar. Okay. Now most of the things I wrote here, I took them from the Bootstrap navigation system. You get it. So we have for the brand. Let me start from the top. We are, we are familiar with this already. Now, this is the bootstrap, the navbar. If you want to add this, we have the various types. We have the fixed top, we have the defaults. Thank you, somewhere here. We have the defaults, we have the fixed top, and then we have this fixed button, and then we have the sticky top. So this is how you add it to your code. Now class, now bar, blah 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 blah, blah 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 for this also. And see, I use the fixed top. So this is what I used. The fixed top. Okay. Next, the nav bar header is also part of the Bootstrap navigation system. Everything I, most of the things I wrote there, you can find them here. As I've been saying, Bootstrap has made website development very easy. If you understand it, you wouldn't have problem with website development. Okay. We have these things are out there, the button, they are out there. This SR stands for screen reader only. They have the icon bar. Now most if you view most websites on a smaller screen, like tablet, phone, or other view, you see these three icon bars. Show you. You see these three icon bars. Now that is what I have done here. These three icon bars is what I have done here. You understand? So that is how you also write those three icon bars. It goes between the button and then between the button you write these ones. Okay. So SR only, screen reader only, icon bar, blah 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 blah. It's three as a standard. Next, we have the nav bar brand that is for the logo. So that's for the logo. It's also here, I think it's at the very top. Nav bar brand, I think, yeah, this is it. So you go through it, you see the whole lot. Alternatively, you can copy this, the whole of this, and put it within your code, and then you edit it. Yes. That's if you want this with a drop down, copy the whole of this and put it in your code and then you edit it. Okay, so that's the navbar brand. Okay. Navbar brand. And then I worked on the actual list, the list items. The active here means that if you log on to the site, the first page you see, that's the home page, that will be the active one. You can change it to any of them and it's up to you. But it's it, it's important that you set this as active, the home page as active. 
Okay. Now, having done that, I think let's move to the CSS and install our work. Try to write a comment. First, we target the, the navbar this. Get a class. And then we give it a background color. And select any color of your choice. I'll go for, I think I'll go for 34495E. Okay. Next, I'll target this. I'll target the, where are you? This one, the site now. It's an ID. That I'll give it. In fact, within that, within that we have the we have the the list item. So I'll include that. So L I A. And that I'll give it a color. That's the test color. The color for the the navigation list. And I'll give it a color white. And then next, when you hover over this, I want. I want you to have a different color, so just add, copy, paste, and I'll add this. You go over it. I want you to have a different color. Let's see the color I've been using all along. This. I'll urge you to choose your own color. Think this way rather. Next. I would, in fact, let's have a look at our work in the browser. Let me save this also. Okay, so that's it so far. Okay, so we are making progress. Now, if it is white, <laughs> because the background is white, you wouldn't see it here. But over here, I think you can see it clearly. That's our logo. Now, I think I want the background color of the logo, this one over here. I want it to extend to the whole of this. Once I want you to extend to this end, so what I'll do is I'll create. In fact, instead of creating a separate CSS, the CSS code for that, what I'll do is I'll copy this and then straight up I'll just add it. Let's have a look. There we go. Ooh, la la. That's simple. Now, as you can see, let me show you the essence of this. The essence of this, the icon, the icon bars. So I want to show you that. Now, if I should minimize this, so we assume you are viewing this on a tablet, laptop, or what have you. Now there's three dots here. You see, if I move the cursor there, it changes. If I click on this, you see the navigation. So that's the essence of the the icon bar. Now I'm going to leave this to you. You can't see it. The color should change, it should be white, it should, it should be something visible. So I'm going to leave that to you for you to change the color. I hope you can do it. If you've been watching our video from day one, you should be able to do that. Okay. Okay, so you have some few seconds to do that. Whilst I go through my work and see. Click on the home section, take you to the home. Click on the services, the services becomes active. About becomes active, takes you to the about, and then the work becomes active, price becomes active, clients becomes active. Okay, these ones are not taking us to the, the various section. But before we move on to those ones, let us answer the, let us solve the, what we wanted, what I wanted you to do. Let's solve that one out. So we go back to our code. I've done that already, so I'll just paste it. I'll save and then right from this thread. I'll save, go back to our browser, refresh, and there you have it. Oh la la, that's simple. You get it. You click on it, there you have it. Okay, so if you had it correct, ha, just clap for yourself. Better still, you congratulate yourself. Okay, so that is it. That's the purpose of the icon bar. In fact, this is the icon bar. Okay, so let's move on. Of course, if you expand it, you will see it. Now, if you click on the home, it takes you to the home section. 
the services doesn't the about does the work doesn't the price doesn't and then the client it does so out of the one two three four five six out of the six only two are working now this time round i'm going to leave that to you to figure that out i'm not going to do it for you okay so you can change this to uppercase if you want all too soon we've come to the end of our project i will encourage you to like comment and then subscribe to our channel for more such projects we'll be doing this as time goes on you get it okay so it's been copy discount i thank you very much for your time i'll see you next time around thanks for watching